So we're in the small Polish city of Klempia Gorna, a very, very small village uh, near the infamous city of Kielce uh, in Poland. Um, and we received a call from a local family who took down the cow shed near their home. And what they discovered uh, was something really quite amazing. They found that the, all the entire base, the foundations of this cow shed was built using Jewish tombstones. And so the family reached out and, and we came here. We came with a few volunteers here today from Israel, from the States and from, some, from here in Poland as well. And we're able to start discovering and looking at some of these stones. And, you know, here already in the back of the car, and I hope the people from the rental company aren't seeing this, we're going to have big trouble. Um, already just a few of the fragments of the tombstones that we've been able to take back already. We can see here um, different parts of this heritage and history. Now, in this small town, there were 44 Jewish families before the war. Today, obviously, nothing left, no remaining, no cemetery. We don't know where the stones came from exactly. There were two cemeteries, five kilometers north and five kilometers south, and we can only go, but guess where they get taken back to. But the truth and the power here is also in terms of the symbolism of what these things mean. Now, if you look at this Matseva over here, this tombstone over here, we can see a little bit. We can see the name Isaac. We can see that he was, he died in Cheshvan in the month. We can see the year, a bit of the year, and try and guess and from there formulate and understand the different parts of this heritage and where these people came from to tell their stories. But for me also very interestingly is you have tombstones like these. Now these are very symbolic of tombstones that would have been much earlier, uh, potentially even from the 1800s. Well, you, again, you can see the different styles and the different kinds and the different stories. And, you know, at the end of the day, in Hebrew you say, There's no holiness in a stone. Um, and they are only stones. They're stones, obviously, that are important, that people have placed a lot of them out, the effort and energy and attention in making these tombstones for loved ones. But the symbolism, the fact that we're able to take these tombstones back, from this family. This family, you know, they're very simple people. They make their living from small agriculture that they have here on these grounds, from a small farming of strawberries. And they said, you know, we had a bad year. The strawberries didn't grow this year. And maybe the spirits that connected to these stones impacted that. Um, and for them, it's a huge relief after finding that they lived for all of these years, and a house that their parents built in, bought in 1974, to find that after all these years the foundations were made from tombstones of Jews is something that really was horrific for them. I mean, they called us with, with a shock and a disbelief and something that was very hard for them. But this for me is the amazing thing, is that we can see this care. You know, the lady called and said, well, what if this was a Polish tombstone? I'd be horrified. If I could read it, it would be even worse. But the point is she took the time and effort to call us. We came here with Poles and with Jews together and all of us came to stand together to really try uh, and make a difference uh, in bringing these tombstones back. And if we follow me over here, you'll be able to see further down more of the tombstones and a little bit of the area. Um, so standing over there are some of our volunteers and some people who've come to help us today. You can see the general agriculture of the area and everything that's going on. And these are the rest of the stones. Not from Matsano, can I show you? No, 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 and get a bit of an understanding of what was written. So basically what we're going to be doing now is taking these tombstones back. Uh, we're going to take them to what we hope was the correct cemetery they came from. But again, it's more of a symbolic move than anything else in, in enabling us to also give peace, not just to whoever stones these were, but to this family who found them and took the time and the effort to call us and, and do the right thing in giving them back. So from a small city near Kielce, uh, maybe we'll do another Facebook Live when we put them back in the cemetery.